Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is locking down your network traffic to only the essential ports. So what does it take at a minimum to let internet work? DNS, which is 53, port 80, which is HTTP, and port 443, which is HTTPS. So let's hop right into it. We're over here at my UDR. Now this is going to work the same no matter you know whether you're on an EA version or whether you're on the standard release of Unify, you still have to create uh, some port profile groups and things like that. So let's get into it. We're here. What we're going to do is we are going to go to firewall and security, and these are going to be internet out rules. So they're going to be like our rules that we created for SMTP, except on steroids. So what we're going to do under firewalls, we're going to hit create an entry. It's going to be internet out, and we're going to say um, allow... Uh, we'll just say, we'll make it easy, DNS and HTTP, right? Because those are the only three protocols by default that we're going to let go out of our network. So we're going to block everything except for those ports. So if somebody's going to torrent or anything like that, uh, they are going to have to configure it to go over port 443 or they're going to have to use a VPN. Or if you're controlling the DNS, which we can talk about, if you want to let me, if you want me to show you how to control the DNS completely, let me know down in the comments, uh, then they're not going to be able to connect to torrent sites at all. Um, and then depending on how you've got your, your traffic management set up, if you've got torrents and things blocked, this is really going to tighten it down. So for them to do anything crazy, they're going to have to use a VPN. What we're going to do is we're going to accept and it'll be source any, and it's going to be destination uh, port group. We want to limit it, right? So we're going to create a new port group. And we're going to call this DNS, HTTP, HTTPS. It's going to be a port group. So we're going to add 53, 80, and 443. And so we're going to allow traffic, and it's going to be before our predefined rules. So we'll look at this. So now we have this accept, internet out, and this is our first rule at the top. Remember, the firewall reads the rules in order. So it's going to start at the top and go down. So we've got internet out and we're allowing DNS and HTTP, HTTPS. Now we are not blocking anything. So let's verify real quick that we can get out on another port. So we're going to do our trusty dusty SMTP, smtp.aol.com. Okay, we connected. We're going to close that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create another entry and we're going to do, go to internet out. And we are going to say block all non DNS HTTP HTTPS is going to be before the predefined rules. We're going to drop the traffic source is going to be anything inside of our network. And then destination is going to be any, right? Because we're blocking anything. That's what this rule does block anything going out except for what's allowed above you. So we're going to hit apply changes. And so now you can see we've got this accept rule for DNS and HTTP, HTTPS. And now we have this drop all rule for non-DNS, um, non, uh, HTTP, HTTPS. So we're going to open up our trusty, dusty putty again. And now we're going to try to do our smtp.aol.com. And you can see that it is being blocked. So let me pull up another site to test uh, outbound uh, ports. And real quick, just to show that regular traffic is working, I'm on news.google.com and I'm going to go to technology and you can see the page loads and I can click, you know, something that I don't usually go to is this IGN uh, and it's going to take you over to YouTube so, so you can see that anything HTTP, HTTPS is working. So let's try a couple other things real quick. All right, so here's a quick website that I found is a portquiz.net. It's outgoing port tester. So it listens on uh, different ports and you can see right here they've got 8080 set up, 8 and 666. Um, so we're going to try to test this 8080. Nothing. Timing out. Um Port 8, timing out. Now you're saying maybe those services aren't running. So 
let's hop back over to Unify real quick and we'll pause our rules and see what happens. All right, so we're back over in Unify. So I am going to um, pause this drop rule, which is what blocks everything except for those three ports. We'll flip back over here in a second and see what we've got. All right, so we're back over here to the port tester with that rule relaxed. So now we're going to try to open this one on 8080, and boom, you can see it answered on 8080. Let's see if it answers on port 8. Boom, answered on port 8. And port 666, boom. Now you want to know, how do I know it's answering on those ports? Because right here in the URL, colon, and then port number. So uh, let's reinstate the rules, and we'll try that one more time. All right, we're going to turn this rule back on. It takes a few seconds for the UDR to provision. All right, the UDR is reprovisioned, so let's try to open these now. You can see we're trying to go to 8080. It is not loading. 8 is not loading. So right now, the only outbound ports that I am allowing is 5380 and 443. And if I really want to tighten it down, I'll let the UDR handle all of the DNS or I'll forward it off to DNS filter. And so I won't even allow outbound 53. I'll only allow 80 and 443 because the firewall will be doing those firewall uh, lookups for us. Or we can limit where we can send DNS requests to, right? So we can limit that you can only send DNS requests to DNS filter or to the UDR. So you can see how we can really start locking down the network and really start making things a little bit more secure. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, ask them down below. Like, comment, share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with our affiliate links that help support the channel and our Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting to take a look at your network, tune things up, make you a little bit more secure, and just have some best practices implemented, reach out at willyhow.com, click hire us or contact us, fill that form out, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.